he pardoned you. How do, what, number one, what were you pardoned for? How does that process work? You were, uh, legally, you were in trouble. You weren't in jail. Were you nothing like that? How, how, what does that work? And how does that phone call happen? And then, like, do you get to send him a thank you note? Like, legitimately, how does this work? Well, what happened was my case involved, my case was a college friend of mine um, that I'd known for 20 years decided to run for the Senate in New York. Her name is Wendy Long. And so I told her not to do it. I'm like, you're not seasoned in politics. She's like, I'm going to run. So she ran. And, and I said, OK, I'll give you, I was, you're allowed to give $10,000 in a campaign. So I wrote her a check for $10,000. And then my Obama movie came out. Uh, this is 2012. And I'm traveling around the country promoting it. I'm doing all these shows and stuff. And Wendy is like, you know, can you serve on my finance committee? Hey, Dinesh, you know, I know these Indian doctors. You're Indian. Can you come to a dinner? I may help them give, my can give to my campaign. So I felt really bad. So I called up two of my friends and I said, hey, guys, you like Wendy Long? Give her 10 grand. That's the campaign limit and I'll reimburse you. And little did I know this was a really stupid thing to do because this falls afoul of the campaign finance law, but it is almost never prosecuted. Or if it's ever discovered, they send you a letter, they give you a warning, they maybe give you a fine. So in any event, I did something stupid, but they brought the full weight of the federal government down against me. And as a result of that, I was incarcerated overnight for eight months in a confinement facility. Not well, you were in jail. Yeah, I was in jail. Now, not, not, a, not a normal prison, but it's called a confinement center. But yeah, you can't leave, and I'm in a bunk bed. This is like Danbury, right? I'm in a bunk bed with like 60 hardened criminals. Get you know? out of here. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I, did, I did my eight months. I was done with all that. I was this just, is in what year? This was in 2013. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I'm done with that, but I'm still on probation. And I still, you know, I, if I travel, like my passport gets dinged, I got to go to a special room. So my point is I was still, quote, under scrutiny. So when Trump pardoned me, I was doing community service and I was on probation, but I'd actually served my, quote, sentence. Uh, but the pardon cleared my record. I mean, I can now vote. I can own a gun. I mean, Had you ever been to jail before in your life prior to that? Well, you, I think you can't kind of imagine. The answer is obviously no. Okay, you're right. I mean, so, no. I mean, I didn't. I, to me, so I was that like. crazy? Yeah, but I don't know if you know or not. When he got out, he had an RNC tattoo here in <laughs> 1776. You want to show it to everybody? Bobby. <laughs> wow. He got out with, I mean, even, even the criminals knew. Uh, I mean, they were like, what are you doing here? And, stuff. <laughs> and these conversations to me were like laugh out loud funny because I'd be yeah. like, well, you know, I was. I violated the campaign finance law. They're like, <laughs> they're like well, well, what, dude, what, what, dude, what did you what's do? What's a campaign finance law? <laughs> yeah. So I go, well, there's a campaign finance law. Is that like carjacking? I go, you know, I gave away too much of my own money. They're like, pause. Yeah. They're like, you mean you didn't take somebody else's money? You're giving money, your money? I'm like, yeah. Gotcha. They're like, you're here for that? <laughs> they so, couldn't even believe it. So, Eight months. So, so back to the Trump pardon. You, he calls you, you get a letter, and then I get, you get to... Uh, yeah. Communicate with him. Break that down. He calls me. Uh, well, Ted Cruz was the one who asked him. He goes, you got a part in Dinesh. And literally Trump was like, hmm, done. It was like that. Wow. Yeah. And then Trump tells uh, John Kelly, who was then the chief of staff, you know, work it out. Now, yeah. I didn't hear anything for 60 days because they do a check. They run a legal review. They do a few things. But then Ted Cruz calls me and he goes, hey, Dinesh, he goes, you got your cell phone on you. He goes, I got some interesting news. He goes, the White House just called asking for your phone number, so you better keep your cell phone like on on because they're likely to call you in the next like 60 minutes and you can't call them back. <laughs> so sure enough, uh, I got the call from Trump and um, and we talked for about 10 minutes on the phone. He called you personally? Yeah. Hey, Dinesh? Yeah. DJT he here. You know, he uses funny. his phone a lot. He's, he he's a guy that uses a I'm smart phone. I'm surprised he didn't tweet you that you were uh, getting out of jail. All right. Well, he's also very casual. He's like, I'm here with John Kelly. He's like, you know, you know John Kelly, don't you? I'm like, no. I mean, I know he's the chief of staff, yeah. but I don't know General that John Kelly. General John Kelly. Yeah. And then, we you know, we talked a little bit about the situation, and he's like, hey, listen, I'm going to sign your pardon in the morning. And But, you know, the, the tweeting, he goes, he goes, listen, don't tell anybody about it. Let me tweet about it first. He did say that. <laughs> and so it was announced to the world <laughs> by a tweet. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.